Ugh, we're still in the Boggly Woods, but hopefully we'll finish that in this episode. Hey guys, Colorful Artie's back for more Paper Mario files in your door. Our punies are still stuck in jail while Mario was out showing off his new shoes to everybody. So I think we, it's about time we went back and saved them, don't you? But hey, with our cool new boots, we can do this now. Bam! Take that, Goombella. <laughs> Yuck. So if we do that, we can go through that, that pipe, but we can't do anything about it until our punies are done, uh, safe. Alright, here's what we've got to do. We're going to put the puny orb in there, and we've got the panel in here. You did it! Yes, yes! Now we can get out of here! And we're back to the annoying puny music. That's okay. No, wrong way, Flurry. Blow them that way. This is where things get annoying. Having to blow them all the time gets very tough. Alright. Because there's always those couple of punies that don't want to go in. It's like Beaver Bobber from Donkey Kong 64. Except here you don't have a time limit. Alright, cool. There's our punies. I'm going to see how long I can go without uh, wanting to use Flurry in battle. Maybe it'll be like World 7. Because I'm trying to think, there are very, very, very few enemies that I actually want to use Flurry against. Because she's really just not that good. Alright, now we get to do the exact same thing we did uh, <laughs> just then, but this time, here. Oh, well, you guys are on that side, so... Boom. No, no, no. You get down there. You get down there too, do this. There you go. Just in case there are enemies down there. Okay, we're very close to the end of the dungeon. Hey, doofus. <laughs> He's like, wait, well, what happened? Know what time it is? It's bonk time. Yes, that was a Puppet Pals reference, also known as Dexter's Laboratory or Justice Friends. So now Mario can kill these guys in one attack as well. Oh, that, that was sad. Stupid mini yucks. Still love the sound that he makes when he dies when he's big. Get out of here, mini yucks. I'd love to get a one up before I fight the boss. That would be very nice. So I should now be jumping on almost every enemy for the first strike, unless they have spikes on their head or a lot of defense. It's kind of nice how you get the super boots in this before you get the super hammer, unlike in the first game. Because, don't get me wrong, I love super hammer, but super boots are more useful. Hey! Oh, come on! He shot upwards? Ouch. Get out of here, yucks. <laughs> Boy, that was lucky. I might unequip the pretty lucky badge. It worked great when I only had 10 HP, but now I feel like it doesn't work as well. <gasps> Darn it! I am getting the poison mushroom bingos way too much. And by that, I mean roll spinning the last one as a poison mushroom. Because that's really going to screw me over, probably at the end of the game when it will hurt me most. And I need to get better with Goombella's action commands on the yuxes, because it's hard to tell if their hitbox starts 
like in between their pillars when at the bottom of the curve or above that. Okay. Now we can check these bushes. Thank you. Everybody down the pipe! I think I'll get a level up right before the boss fight, which will be nice. Well, we've got a river that we can't cross because we all know what lies in waters in this game. Is there a star piece behind any of these? I hope not. Because then you could permanently miss out on it. Alright, later! switch here, but if we push the button down, it goes down as well. Luckily, Koops is here to help us out. Thanks, Koops! I do love your holding shell puzzles. I hope there are no punies down there. I'm just kidding. If there are any punies down there, they automatically get evacuated to the top. So now the flood goes at the bottom. Make sure you do look around down here. Because we get the Shrink Stomp Badge. Execute superbly to shrink its foes and drop attack power. And a Dizzy Dial back there. I thought that was a Star's Piece back there. Guess not. And they've even got that clever little machine there to let you know, yes, the water does get drained. Alright. I am going to unequip Pretty Lucky, and I am going to equip the Charge Badge. And Power Smash, I think. When I get more BP, I will equip Power Bounce, which takes three. Yikes. That's an extra BP in the original game. That's a bit problem. Like, the damage dodge badges only take two instead of three, which is nice, but pretty much every other badge takes way more BP in this game. Alright, gotta do this just right! And I did. And Koops fell in the water. Sorry about that, Koops. Everybody down! Uh-oh. Those two guys got stuck. But they came down anyways. I love that. Oh no, Snarpy's back there. Okay. 101. That means you need every puny in order to make this platform drop. Everyone gather! You place the puny orb. Uh, what's... Oh no, what's happening? We're going down... So that's how you get to this room. I would normally pay for the heart block, but I am also about to get a level, a level up, and I'm a cheapskate. I was hoping I'd have 200 coins at the end of this world, but nope. Hey Lord Crump, what are you doing here? Hmm, let me see. That thing's gotta be around here somewheres. But huh? What's that? Whoa, sounds like a mob! Better clear out. Well, you're not wrong. It is a mob. A mob of tiny people. So you need 101 punies here. What if there weren't 101 punies? Like, what if they underwent a near extinction, and you only had a couple punies, and you desperately needed what they had? Hey, is Lord Crump back there? No? Nobody? Okay. Oh, wait. Bush is back here. Okay, nothing. Alright, we need all 101 punies for here as well. We place the puny orb. And it's the crystal star. How beautiful is that? That's the prettiest crystal star of them all. Wow, Mario! Check it out! The crystal star! Score! Hey, you. Hey, you! <laughs> I see you, jerk! Mario, it's that weasel! Buh, buh, buh! Man, am I lucky or what? Or am I just good? Oh, you say you need a crystal star, Lord Crump? Boom! Falls right in my lap. 
still, this is humiliating! You shouldn't have been able to escape that cell. So, for insulting my awesome trap, I'm gonna repay you with a little present. Know what it is? Oh, just a little something I like to call a remote time bomb detonator! I'm gonna use this to bury you in those squirmy punies and rubble. Sound fun? Well, enjoy your final minutes inside this dank old tree, and with that, POW! I'm gone. Well, that's dastardly. Apparently he wastes this place of dynamite. This is so not cool! We gotta get out of here, right now! I've actually never uh, found out what happens if you stay in here for the all the time. I'm guessing it's something like instant game over. So now we get to take a unique way out. And we get, oh no, ambushed by two x knots. Guess what, guys? You're gonna make us... Oh, that guy's an HP plus badge. So he has 9 HP instead of 4. <laughs> I forgot about that. That was actually hilarious. And the timer still goes down even in battles. The one time you don't want a bingo. I kind of need to get out of this tree fast. Oh, lucky you! You got a bingo! And all the audience is watching, even though there's a bomb threat. So did these guys just, like, lace the tree with dynamite or something? <laughs> or, like, C4? In preparation? That's kind of crazy. And, of course, I have to get a level up. Man, the game's just like, Oh, have this extra time waster! I want BP, obviously. Timer stops when you're paused, though, which is nice. Power bounce, baby! Yep, Starpy's in there. It's always good stuff when you're running out of time. So I believe this is at the bottom of the... Yep! Okay, I, re I know where I am now. I also can't remember if you have to keep all your punies. I'm gonna assume you do. Come on, hurry it up. We've only got like three minutes to get out of here. Kinda wanna find out what happens. If you wait too long. Um, no. I don't want those pieces. So, can't remember. If you go for this door, does it immediately stop, or can I hit the save block first? I can hit the save block. Perfect. Sure, let's wait. See what happens when we run out of time. That was lame. I was expecting at least explosions. Come on. That's so lazy. So boring. Does it even save the exact way, uh, part that the counter's at? It does! That's awesome. Alright. You won't be going any farther this away. What? Are you nuts? Move it, you old geezer. What? Did you just call me an old geezer? Where do you get off talking like that? You got no respect, brat. Don't think my age has a thing to do with my might. I love how Lord Crumbs is shrinking. Even if it kills me, I won't let you get through. I'm ready. Elder power, activate. Whoa, what's your problem, Grandma? You got an ear hair tickling your brain or what? Whoa! Oh, what the? Ouch! Can't take another step. Ooh. Erk. What a time for my stupid back to start acting up. You hot-headed old coot! You dare defy me? I could shine my boots with you. Stop right there, jerk! You aren't going anywhere, Mr. Stinker. Now give us the crystal star and drag your sorry self out of this tree forever! 
Bah, bah, bah. You guys are nuts, you know that? Oh well, I guess I better shut off this timer. Man, that is a lot of dialogue. Okay, you pests. One pummeling, pummeling coming up with extra fists. Metal fists, that is. It's like Eggman's copter thing. Awake, Magnus Von Grapple! Time for a technological thrashing! Enjoy! I will admit, that's a pretty awesome entrance. Alright. Time for the second boss of the game. Magnus Von Grapple. Are you crying yet? Yeah, sorry, this fiend isn't armed with tissues. Well, Magnus Von Grapple has that effect on people. Total weeping terror. And you ain't seen nothing yet! Check out the power on this bad boy! Whoa! He is powerful! Still, something about this metal freak just doesn't seem right to me. Keep your eyes open. Can't flee this fight. Well, let's start charging. Booyah. And we got a tattle. Magnus. That's Magnus Von Grapple. It's a giant robot built by the X-Nauts. Lord Crump drives it. Max HP is 30, attack is 2, and defense is 1. He's not tough. Its most effective attack is one that takes advantage of its size, a smothering stomp. It can also shoot out its fists, which do these super gnarly rocket punches. Its fists have max HP of 2, an attack of 4, and defense of 0. Oh, that's 4 attack. Its fists are super powerful, so it's best to knock them down fast. The thing about this robot is, I can't tell if it looks cool or really, really stupid. If it wasn't pink, it would look cool. Here comes suckers! Magnus Von Punish! Ouch. That's hard to defend against. Yeah, I'm gonna keep charging, me thinks. And Gumbella is the best partner for this if she's leveled up, because she can deal two damage to him. There we go. That's the power of damage dodge. Oh, one more charge should be good. I think he's... Oh, he didn't shoot out his fist. This is great. Ouch. Alright, time for a power bounce. We can also do spin jump as an attack, which I will show off later. And yeah, he's almost dead. Gurk! Not good. Can't last. Can we kill him right now? We can with an HP drain. <laughs> wow, you are pathetic. This could be the end. <laughs> yeah, what a trashing. He didn't even show off two of his moves. Uh, which is shoot off his rocket punches, which you just want to destroy. And then he also has an earthquake move, which is kind of annoying. But, nope, take that. But, but, ah, no, Magnus Von Grapple, how could we lose? Huff, huff, huff. I'll remember this, losers. Yeah, you will. Lord Crump summons us! Retreat, heads up, run away, wait up! There's always one. We did it, Mario! Yes! Was that great or what? Okay, I have never beaten Magnus Von Grapple that quickly. That was amazing. <laughs> They're gone! This place can go back to being the peaceful place I remember. All right there, Martio. You can have the Emerald Star, the Crystal Star that resided in this tree. So we got the Diamond Star from Hooktail, and... You got a Crystal Star, and you learned the special move, Clock Out. End of chapter! It's about time. Hey, we've got time for the Peach and Bowser parts. Excellent. And so, after pummeling Lord Crump, Mario obtained the second Crystal Star. With the x knots gone, peace once again prevailed throughout the Great Tree. The, bo the Boggly Woods echoed with the puny sounds of joy. Almost said Boogly Woods. That would be great. But this may not be the last our heroes hears of the vile x knots They will surely continue to stand in Mario's way and try to put a stop to his efforts. Save all the game progress up to this point. You know it.
boink boink. What? Say that again, you can't get in touch with Lord Crump. You are correct, sir. We are investigating now. We should hear any time. <laughs> Still love that. Zagrotus, please allow me to enter. Yes, what is it? I have a report, sir. The crystal star in the Boggly Woods has apparently been taken by Mario. What? You must be joking. What about Lord Crump and the Shadow Sirens? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. Unfortunately, Mario laid a beating on all of them. Hmm. Disturbing. This Mario character. What kind of... Speak up, x Not. What is the status of the other crystal stars? I apologize, sir. We are still searching for the other crystal stars. Unsuccessfully, sir. We knew of three of them. Hooktail Castle, Boggly Woods, the one we got in Rogueport. That means there are four crystal stars left out there. And we will have them. Keep looking so that Mario won't beat us to the punch. Yes, sir! As I suspected, there's no reason to doubt that Mario has that map. He must. Listen up, you. I want you to keep a close watch on what Mario does from now on. Absolutely, sir. Mario, I love you. Oh, Mario, did you even read the mail I sent you? I wonder. I wonder so many things. I wonder how everyone is doing at the castle. Will I never dance at the Mushroom Ball again? What will become of me? Oh, that's sad. Hmm, doesn't seem to open. Oh, is this TEC's doing again? Yeah, no shower this time, princess. Open the door. I command it. Hello, Princess Peach. I am glad you came. That mail I sent to Mario, did it reach him alright? Yes, I can confirm that Mario received the mail. Is that so? Well, good. So what do you want from me today? Is there more you want to know of love? You expressed regret earlier that you would not be able to dance at a ball, correct? Excuse me? Were you eavesdropping? I am sorry, Princess Peach. I have been ordered to keep surveillance on you. But it is odd. When you said that, I had an impulse to dance with you as well. How many how my CPU would produce this impulse is inexplicable. I must find out what caused it. Find out what caused it? There's no reason behind such a feeling, TEC. Wanting to do something together, it's part of love. I know it. But then again, you are, well, a computer. Princess Peach, please dance with me. Wait. Wait just a minute! What am I supposed to do? You say you want to dance? It's just so bizarre. I mean, how in the world can I dance with you? You have no arms, or feet, or moves. Oh, snap, burn! You got no moves, TEC. <laughs> Would this be an acceptable dance substitute? What the heck? Oh my goodness, is that me? Did you create that? Can you make it Mario instead? That's what she wants. All right, I guess. I must say, though, it's going to feel weird dancing with myself. Press the buttons as they display on the screen. This is a very weird little mini game. However, once you get the rhythm down, it's pretty cool. Man, Peach, where do I get those moves? That was amazing. Thank you, Princess Peach. That was very fun. Just a moment. Fun? 
Is this impulse I feel the concept known as fun? TC, are you okay? Princess Peach, I will fulfill my promise to you. Please use my communicator. Use the keyboard to send whatever message you want. I'm finished, TEC. Could you send it? You couldn't have pushed the send button yourself, Princess Peach. The message has been sent. Please go back to your room. I want to analyze the data from this dance immediately. The data I f that I thought was fun. You're a weird computer. No, you are mistaken. I am the world's best and only perfect computer. Well, no you're not, because you're not humble. Good night, Princess Peach. To be perfect, you must be uh, humble and have humility. And if you admit you're perfect, you therefore don't. So therefore, the perfect person can never admit they're perfect. And now the part everyone has been waiting for. Oh, yes! I'm pretty sure it's just up ahead here! <laughs> right as usual, Lord Bowser. We just got word for Princess Peach was spotted in the town up ahead. Good! Yes, very good! Then I'm off! Those fools don't know what's coming! Yeah, so Bowser's always one step behind Mario. It's great. <laughs> My lord, you're so super! <laughs> and this is the part I've been so looking forward to. Super Bowser Brothers, ready to roll! Yes, we get to play Super Mario Bros. as Bowser. If they made a whole game based off of this, I would be so cool with that. You can even blow fire. Instead of mushrooms, you eat ham! <laughs> and they're x knots as well. <laughs> and you can just keep getting bigger and bigger. Invincible Bowser is great. <laughs> In fact, if you're invincible... He <laughs> can't even fit in the castle. <laughs> Please, Nintendo, make a Super Bowser Brothers game. I would so play that. <laughs> oh, hey! Welcome to Petalburg, and... Eek! Hide, everybody! Hide! I'm king of the Koopas! <laughs> what a wuss! Yes, hi, chickens! I have no need for any of you! What I do need, though, is Princess Peach! Now, where is she? Tell me this instant! Lord Bowser, over there! There she is. Bingo! Princess Peach! Man, that was easy! I found you, my princess! I, Bowser the Mighty Koopa King, offer my greeting! No, no, none of that silent treatment! You're coming to my castle with me! <laughs> Clearly, she's so overcome with joy that she's been left speechless! The mind of a maiden is, well, rather complicated. <laughs> <laughs> I see, I see! How refined! How elegant! Awesome! I suppose I could live with a silent princess. It might even have its perks, you know? No! My, my wife's treasure! I'd rather die than give up my life-size peach poster! <laughs> P poster Oh my goodness me! Didn't see that coming. Great! Just great! Now I look like the huge mighty king of guys who talk to posters! <laughs> and let me tell you, the Bowser fights just get better and better. Oh, <laughs> That was lovely. Those are probably my favorite parts of the game. They are just amazing. Uh, thank you, Mario, for everything you've done. We can go back to our peaceful way of life now. You know, son, now that we get right down to it, I'm kind of sad to see you go. I do love pontificating, so come on by whenever you want to sit and chat a while. Yes, please come back and visit. We'll watch for you. We'll work together from now on to prevent anything like that from happening again. Thanks for showing us how to stick together, Mario. Good luck with the Crystal Stars. 
Oh, I'm sure we'll be back again at some point. Yeah, definitely. Take care, guys. See you, Mr. Mario. I don't think there's a save block right out there, so that's a bummer. Oh, sweet. I have room for one more item inventory so I can grab the end coupon on my way out. So this will be a slightly longer than average episode, guys. All thanks to me finishing off Magnus Von Grapple incredibly quickly. Hey, you hear that? Someone's mailing you! Do 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 Super Mario World theme. <laughs> Dear Mario, I'm sure you're very concerned about me. But please know I'm fine. I'm actually more worried about you. The fiends who kidnapped me are searching desperately for the crystal stars. I'll try to learn what I can about them. I'll email again if I can cover anything, okay? You must know I miss you. Lately, I've dreamt about our days back in the castle. I hope we'll spend more carefree days there again soon. Princess Peach. Aw, isn't that sweet, Mario? Yep. That's my girlfriend. Alright. I am not wasting my breath on you guys! Okay, I am wasting my breath on you guys. Uh, actually, no. I'm running. Because these guys really don't give me any star points now. Those clefts are mighty fast, which is a bit annoying. But anyways, that brings us to the end of this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Color Farty. Tune in next time. We will be going back to Rogueport to probably do some more side quests. Look forward to that. Have a great day, and God bless.